Hello everyone, it's Bebathio7 here and welcome back to Niche and the Funsies Tribe. So in the last episode, we met this beautiful new nicheling by the name of Muffin. I changed his name to Muffin because we have been naming a lot of our nichelings after food and it seemed like the natural um, response to a new nicheling. Anyway... <laughs> So we found out that he actually had immunity genes that worked very well with a lot of our like female nichelings. Uh, well, apparently not Black Forest Cake, but at least with our two twins over here being the immunities, C and K immunities, we don't have any nichelings with a K immunity. So Muffin here is going to be very helpful. And Muffin showed up just the right time because we are going to be traveling to the new icy biome. So we have Muffin, he's actually not as, I think I said he had really bad genetics in the last one, and they're not that bad, it's just the short-sighted eyes and the kind of little fertility that we want to try and avoid. And he's got 30 days, so like, I guess arguably we could wait until we hit day 50, because he would have like 10 days, you know, for us to try and do that, but I, I think, we'll, I mean, we already, already slotted it in there. At least with his offspring, if they have really, really low fertility, we can try to encourage higher fertility for them. In any case, we only have a few more turns because our dear beloved over here, Karana, only has seven days. So I want in the next two turns, ideally, to move everybody as much as possible, gather all the food we can. So I'm probably going to try to move Karana to these berry bushes and like as like Misery and her daughter and Aes start heading over, they'll just go ahead and spot all the berry bushes that they can, gather what we can from it. Muffin's gonna start really making his way over because he's a slow poke. Oh, and before I forget, in the last episode, we also had Nonpareil show off his worth, confidence, character growth, you name it, because he was able to catch multiple moles without batting an eye. It's as if he suddenly understood the intricacies, the patience, the perfect time to pounce. Our man got some new confidence in himself, okay? And he also realized that gathering grass, like what we're doing here with the nesting material, is valuable. Clearing it is valuable. And he contributes a lot to the tribe. Him gaining confidence in himself, proving his worth, also gain more respect from Misery and Karana, who, in my opinion, should have given him a little bit more respect from the get-go. But, you know, things happen. At least he's got it now. In any case, let's go ahead. Let's pass the turn. Okay, we have another mole. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and have her velvet cake smack him. We're going to move Karana over to this berry bush and she can grab from this. We're going to sniff. There are a couple of roots actually that her daughters can go ahead and grab and then move. So Black Forest Cake and her youngest sister Ilana are going to go ahead and smack up those roots because, you know, that's what they do. They're creating poultices, herbal mixes. They're also getting ingredients for lava cakes baking. You know, because they're just that awesome. I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to move Lava Cake just a little bit closer. And we'll let you swipe up some berries, but we're going to move you. We want to get out of here as soon as possible. I'll let her gather berries as well. While we're here, we're actually, we are going to destroy this berry bush at the very least. And then her sister can go along here. Grimalada and her sister Anais are currently not bothering with whatever bunnies may be on the island. They're just like, oh, we're leaving. We gotta go. So everybody's over here gathering what food they can, converging. Misery is, you know, waving goodbye to Hug a Bear because Hug a Bear's not gonna come with him. This is his home. This is where he wants to stay. We're gonna have to make sure we don't destroy all the berry bushes. And luckily, he's got plenty of regrowing grass, so he should be all right. I think Red Velvet Cake is going to miss Hug a Bear, you know, because they were pretty close. And I wonder, maybe it was Hug a Bear who pushed him to go over to his to his family, you know, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> I just feel like they were pretty close. He was the last baby hanging around, you know, and and oh, it's kind of bittersweet. We're gonna take a picture. Bittersweet. 
bittersweet. Let's go ahead and bring the UI back. That is kind of sad. I wonder how everybody's feeling about this move. I know Nonprel is feeling, I mean, once again, I guess maybe it's that newfound confidence, but he's feeling pretty certain, I would say. You know? Was there a leech over here? I swear I just saw a leech. We'll try to dig for worms. Nonpareil is feeling pretty confident about the move. He's ready to go. He's excited. He feels like this is what we're meant to be doing. Um, I think Anais and Gremolata, well, maybe more Anais. Anais is excited to see if there's new prey to hunt, new challenges. Gremolata's just, oh, this is Anais. Anais is excited. Oh, look at their antlers. I didn't realize how differently colored their antlers were. I mean, they've obviously got different spot patterns and stuff. It's just, I know it's kind of nice. But Anais is very interested in the different prey possibilities, whereas her sister Gremolata, I think, is just mildly curious. She's just like, oh, you know, I guess we're going on a new adventure. Um, you know, it's time to go. She's not too attached to either place or idea. She's like, all right. Really, it's like, as long as her sister's going with her, she's fine. Well, Muffin, I don't really know much about you, Muffin. I don't know. You seem very laid back, though. Maybe it's just because you're fluffy and you're giving me teddy bear vibes. Like, he's giving me, like, plushy. You know what I mean? Like, he's probably really soft. <laughs> anyway, I think we're going to go ahead. We're going to pass the turn. Oh, hug a bear. You can't be doing this to me. Hug a bear. Breaking my heart over here. Breaking my heart. He's saying goodbye to misery. Oh, was she the first one to ever give him the nesting material so that he could babysit? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so precious. Goodbye, Hugga Bear. Gonna miss you. Gonna miss you very much. So sad. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. Look at that. He's actually saying goodbye. I'm kind of surprised. That's crazy. You're gonna make her cry. <laughs> Swipe up everything you can. Ugh. He's gonna make her. He's gonna make her cry. She's over here like I didn't expect to get emotional, but we will miss you. Smack of the berry bush. Leave the berry bush here for him. Goodbye, Hugga Bear. It was nice knowing you. But it's time for this family's next adventure. Speaking of adventure, let's go ahead and shake this. He's close enough that we'll go ahead and just let him gather whatever food. Lava Cake is using every last second he can to make food for everybody and pack him these cute little bags or I guess leaves. Kind of like the elves in Lord of the Rings where they have the like lembas in the giant leaf. We'll just assume it's something similar, but acorn. <laughs> so while everybody is starting to feel a little bit melancholy, bittersweet about leaving, Ilana is, I think, excited for the adventure. She's young, you know, so she hasn't had the same amount of time to get attached to this place as everybody else has. And Nonpareil is, with his newfound confidence, just excited to be exploring something new. But... I think the majority of the family, while they are excited for this change, they're feeling nervous at the same time, you know, because they're used to this island. They've been here for a while, all their lives, and I mean, they, they just don't know what to expect. Like, we have a lot of food, luckily, thankfully, so we should be okay for a while, but I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting. I think Lava Cake's over here saying goodbye to his piranha pets that we just discovered that are probably his piranha pets. He's, oh no, that's going to be so emotional having to say goodbye to them. It's going to be like Hug a Bear. Why did I do that to myself? Ah, uh, hang on. I want to take, take a picture of him and his little piranha friends. I can't really get a good picture, so we're going to do this. Yeah, yeah. That's sad. That is so sad. Okay, we'll pass the turn now. <laughs> the moles come back up, taunting us. But this is the day, guys. This is the day that we all go away. 
We're gonna make sure everybody can make it over here. I'm gonna let Karana gather twice because she can make it here. We're gonna move Misery towards the front so that there's space for everybody else to get over here. Oh, I should have had Misery break the, uh, I should have had her break the thingy. It's okay. Everybody is making their space. Everybody's doing the best that they can. We're gonna let him gather the rest of the berries before he sits on the platform. non -prel. let's see. Okay, she can make it there easily. Black Forest Cake is gathering a last handful of herbs. She's gonna come up here and sit close, close-ish to her brother. Ilana's just sitting happy, right? She's fine. Uh, let's actually move non towards the front. And let's make sure we get the twins on here. Let's get an Ice over here. We'll have her sit in the front and yeah. It looks like we're ready. We are ready to say goodbye to this island. Maybe we could have done a little bit more with gathering food, but I think we're okay. Like if I try to go back and do it now, we're gonna have to wait one more turn. And Karana does not have much time left. So this is it. This is it. Now we get a screenshot. I want a picture of everybody. Look at this. Look at our beautiful, beautiful creatures here. Oh, they're so pretty. They're looking up. They're looking towards adventure. At least those who still have hearts, still have gemstones. I'm scared. I really hope this should have everybody on it. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Oh, wait, is this not the snowy island? Is this the whale? Oh my, oh my goodness. Wow. How many of you guys playing this new, <laughs> like watching, you're like, well, she's in for a surprise. <laughs> Oh no. I worry that we might have made a mistake. It's okay. <laughs> not for all, this is not what he was expecting. So let's sniff. We have a spiky berry bush. Good thing we have food. Because we don't have a lot of really good food resources except like way further in. Yeah, because these are poison berry bushes over here. This is an entirely different set of genetics that I was not prepared for. But what should we name the whale? We're on a whale. Look at the eyeball. He's just swimming around. He's like, he's just like, all right, this is fine. Fine by me. Hey guys, welcome to my island. Okay, let's let's not waste any time. I think since non Perel is fancying himself the leader, he will go ahead and dive in. Oh, and he's found us a food resource. So let's go ahead, gather up the grass around him. He'll probably call out, you know, he's over here like, oh, there's food over here, guys, come here. And his, let's see, let's get you closer. Yeah, okay, so Muffin's able to reach it. He'll be able to start gathering food from it. There's actually quite a few berry bushes here, so we'll be able to boost everything. Um. However, we are not finding any roots. So I think disappointed Black Forest Cake and her sister Ilana are going to just focus on gathering grass, trying, trying to make a path. Anais and her sister Grimalada are going to try, and I think, let's see, cause she can jump up here. I mean, reveal the berry bush, I guess. I don't know what Lava Cake wants to do because he's so used to acorns. I don't know if there really is. There's like a tree way... There's a tree right here, I think, that drops acorns, but it's like a ways from us. So he's probably feeling a little lost, but at least with his nimble fingers, if he goes around this way... Here, we'll, we'll gather that. He can help us by gathering from, from the berry bushes. So... This is definitely not what anybody expected. I don't think I don't think they really know how they're supposed to be feeling right now. We'll keep red velvet cake 
by his brother. He's definitely very attached to Lava Cake. So we'll keep him by his brother, try to follow him, see what they can do. Karana and Misery are going to stick close as well. She'll probably make her way over to the berry bushes, as is her want. And Misery... Everybody's still super close-knit, so we'll just have everybody, like... There's a lot of regrowing grass. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Darn it, I was kind of looking forward to the snow biome. I don't really know how to adjust to this. All right, well... Okay, I think... Oh, you know what? Fortunate placement. Anae, Skirmalana, close to Muffin. I think we'll probably go ahead and start having them try for, for bibbies. And they're going to start to get to know each other. Muffin's just soft. I don't know how else to describe him. He's like the... He's, he's kind of huggable. Yeah. He's just really friendly and like genuinely kind. So I think it's really refreshing. Uh, it does if none of these other guys are genuinely kind. I think it's nice, right? So his just, he radiates warmth literally because he's got big body. And <laughs> I think he's really impressing Remolata and Anais with his, with his kindness. So in the next turn, we'll go ahead and see if, if, whoa, that was a noise. Let's go ahead. We'll actually have these two try with him. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a success. Oh, let's look at her genetics real quick and see. She does have short-sighted eyes recessive, so we want to put normal eyesight. And then... I don't really know what else we want to put here. Oh, I don't have... Yeah, I don't have the claw because... Where is it? That spiky body. Claw. We haven't performed attack enough times, so I don't really know what we're going to get with this. I think I'll leave it, but that was a little more successful than I thought it would be. So I'm going to have her kind of jump over here and we're, they're just, I don't, I don't know, we'll bring, we'll bring her sister down. Okay, <laughs> you know what? I think he lied to us about his fertility. He seems to be doing just fine, guys just fine. <laughs> so we're gonna have two babies on the way soon. We just have to wait a few more days. Oh, Karana, she's not gonna get to meet her grandbabies. Oh, that's gonna be a sad day. That's gonna be sad. I wonder if everybody's even aware that she's, that her, like, she's so much older, you know? That her time is kind of coming to a close. Let's move Alana. Maybe she'll stay by, stay by her mother's side. Misery is gonna stay by. Keep a close eye out. She's gonna keep clearing grass. And no, we're not trying for that there. <sighs> Karana, I'm gonna miss you. Look at this family. They're they're all pretty close knit, you know. Oh oh, another berry bush. I don't know why I was worried about food. At least Lava Cake can go ahead and gather that, and his little brother Red Velvet Cake is gonna follow after him. Um, yeah, because Lava Cake is gonna go and search, like he's gonna follow his nose. So we're gonna like say that he can he can smell the acorns, right? He's like, there has to be, there has to be an acorn tree, and from his perspective, he could probably see the tips of its branches way over this way. <laughs> So Lava Cake can make it in that direction, and we do have a lot of food over here. So I think right now, our like, their goal probably really just set up in this area. I mean, look at the abundance of food right here. I can't really, I mean, that's a pretty good spot for them to set up right now. So, <laughs> I mean, non Pearl might kind of just say stick around here, and he and Misery can work on exploring. The kids can kind of do whatever they want, but you know, it seems like they so far have landed themselves in a pretty good spot. Surprisingly, like who would have thought, you know? <laughs> i take more pictures. I'm trying to get better about taking pictures. I'm not always very good about doing that. Okay, sniff, listen. I'm curious to see if we'll get 
any wanderers soon. Let's actually move. Oh, the first sign of roots. Gremolata might call her little sisters over here. She's like, I smell some of those fancy herbs you guys are always so interested in. And then, like, her sisters, oh, Black Forest Cake is going to leap all the way over. She's going to come sprinting. Okay, she's going to be like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And she's going to she's gonna dig it right up. She was probably sitting there all worried. <laughs> Here, let's... Yeah, let's actually work on gathering up food. Uh, I'm going to move her a little bit. And we will move Muffin so that he can get from both berry bushes. Karana is just enjoying her time staring out at the sea with misery. Uh, Nonpareil is... Hmm. I don't know what he wants to do. Actually. I mean, Lava Cake is kind of busy. Oh, he found a nest! What do you know? This is actually a really good setup here. His brother Red Velvet Cake is going to follow after him, trying to clear the grass so that there's a pathway, easy way for them to come back, you know. But he found a nest. He'll probably tell his sisters, joking with them, he's like, well, here's a new house for you guys. Seems like a perfect setup. I'll send you acorn pastries from wherever I settle. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we got Muffin. Gremolata, that's Anais. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Anais. And Gremolata, sorry, Gremolata. <laughs> I don't know what to do with her, actually. Maybe she'll come over here and try to give, uh, give Gremolata and Anais some tips. Misery wants to stay close to her, so I know we might be more useful having her do something else right now. But I think she's going to stay by her friend because she's just a little nervous. Uh, maybe maybe your friend's looking a little tired lately and she's just trying to be there to support her. non -Pearl's a little hesitant to go far away as well because um, he's he obviously he cares very deeply about Karana. Karana and Misery are both his mates, so he's a little hesitant, but he also wants to make sure that he can provide for his family. And I mean, hey, he did pretty good. Look at where we are. Like, we have three berry bushes, we have a nest, and we have a dry berry bush, which not always going to produce food, but hey, when it rains, it'll give us something. Like, he's done pretty well so far, but he too is noticing that Karana is a little bit tired lately. She just doesn't seem to be moving around as quickly as she used to. She's slower to get up, slower to sit down, and... She stares off into the distance a lot more often than she used to. Just watching the water. Just watching it move and sway. Honestly, this is probably the perfect place for her to go. It's very peaceful. And there's some companionship with the island in a way that was different from before because we're on a giant whale. So watching the water here. She's still got one more day. So she's going to do her best. Um, to impart wisdom to this young group here that are starting a family of their very own. And she's also probably going to give Muffin a few words, you know, it's like, you better treat my little girls right. Because, you know, even though Misery is their birth mother, Karana was their mother as much as Misery was. So she's, <laughs> she's sitting here kind of poking around Muffin, you know, mess with him, getting to know him a little bit better. And hopefully seeing the good spark within his big fluffy heart. Oh, he's so fluffy! He's so fluffy! Oh, speaking of which, you guys, I do need to actually check Gremolata's genetics. I'm glad I remember that. She's got to have the normal eyes. Everything else is pretty good. I really don't know what I would want to avoid. Maybe the webbed legs, actually. So I might try to put, I mean, oh, we have nimble fingers. We already have enough input from that, though. So I'll probably just put runner leg. I don't want to risk losing the claw, per se. So hopefully we can get that in our, in our like, mutation soon. But Misery is going to just, you know, laugh, joke along with her. But I feel like the worry and concern in her heart is starting to grow. 
Karana is reaching her final days. She is about to actually be on her final day. This is really tragic. And it's making me sad. <laughs> oh, see, this is why I gave them a long life. And why I'm trying not to like have too many kids at once. I want to be able to really get to know each of our nichelings and take my time. I, I sometimes it's like when you get a lot of creatures and you're like really get in the flow of this game. I mean, play however you want. But for me, sometimes, it, especially if I'm making videos, it's like, you know, you lose the attachment to them. And it's everyone's like, oh, gonna have to do this, this, and this. It's like, I don't know. I just, I just want to, I want to remember to take my time. So, while we're here, let's go ahead and actually start on this side of the island. Lava Cake has found us a new nest. He and his brother Red Velvet Cake are going to continue down this way, making some progress. His brother's clearing the path behind him and following after him like a good little brother because he wants to, you know, he and uh, Lava Cake are very close. And he wants to help him find the acorn tree so he can like hear more stories. Maybe he can find a couple of mole holes nearby. And, you know, maybe something interesting there. Get some more food. <laughs> we'll have her reveal this spiky plant. Oh, is she overheated? Poor baby. Poor baby. She's got big body. I forgot about that. That would have been so beneficial. I'm sorry. Poor baby. Well... While she's doing that, I think we're gonna go ahead, let's focus, let's focus first on Little Black Forest Cake. She can go in a bit further, try to listen to her little sniffer. She's gonna see if she can't find any more of those wonderful herbs and roots. We'll have her clear the grass ahead of her because these two are here so they can kind of get all the other grass around here. I'm actually gonna scoot Gremolata a little over this way. What? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess they're going to be ready. I didn't want to use all the nesting material, but, um, you know, for the sake of story, we'll go ahead and we'll actually have them set up a nest over here. Muffin can continue talking to his mother-in-laws and, oh, no, we are not doing that. <laughs> Karana will continue to impart her kind wisdom, you know, joking with him. Misery still stubbornly staying by her side. Nonprel is continuing to clear out grass, but he's watching from afar, keeping a close eye because he doesn't really want to leave yet. Something's keeping him from really trying to clear everything out. And this is it, you guys. We're going to see two beautiful new souls, two beautiful new babies, and we're going to say goodbye to one that really helped grow this family and I don't think I don't think misery is gonna be okay after this I think she's gonna be a little heartbroken it's gonna be very bittersweet and tragic but at the same time she'll we're gonna we're gonna say she was alive long enough to see the babies born and then she passed shortly after just because I want to I want to say that she saw her babies okay okay <laughs> so She'll get new grandbabies, but she's going to lose a very close friend. It's going to be very sad. I don't want it to be sad. Uh. <gasps> oh! Huh? Hold up. Huh. Okay, I need a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. We lost Karana, but also who the heck are you? <laughs> What the heck? Okay, so she has nimble fingers and webbed paw. We have Nudon, who's got webbed hind legs. Nimble fingers, Nudon. Can I name him Noodle? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna really quickly rename. We'll look at the babies more thoroughly in a second and name them. Let's let's go over to Visery. Actually, before we do that, let's sniff. <gasps> Whoa! Wait a minute, there's a new nicheling. She'll probably come out in just a second. So let's have you gather, yes! Okay, she actually looks a lot like, well, 
Now watch, she has the same coloring. Oh my goodness. Let's actually, let's look at her genetics real quick. She also has C and K immunities. Darn it, wouldn't work. No, wouldn't work. Eh? No, wouldn't work. Okay, so she's actually not the best, but she does have the velvet paw, which isn't terrible. She's got lean body um, in her recessives, which for this island we actually do need. She could be worth trying to have babies with. More on that in a second. Well, maybe I've already said enough with Misery. I don't know. Misery is not happy. I think this is when she is going to greet her, her grandbabies and then she's going to go diving into the grass for a few days so she can kind of wind down and grieve and mourn. And the news is going to spread that Karana is gone. Lava Cake is grieving. And maybe in that grief, when this interesting little lady shows up, he will have some fun and find some joy in offering her some of his patented corn cakes. Corn cakes? Acorn cakes. I wonder if he could... No, we're not trying to breed. We're trying to invite her into the tribe. So, Len 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 I want to... Okay, I'm naming her Lenthal. I think that's how you spell it, right? So, Lentil, you know, having just come in on this tribe in the throes of <laughs> tragedy, to be dramatic, in the throes of tragedy and at the same time blessings, she will happily accept the acorn cakes and listen with fascination, you know, like, oh, where'd you guys come from? How long have you been here? Oh, you just got here? Well, that's crazy. I mean, I guess it makes sense because I've never seen you before. But also, why are you guys so sad? What's going on? Oh, those babies are so cute. Also, do you have more of those acorn cakes? Because they, like, sound really, really good. Can I have more of them? And look what I can do. I can gather berries, too. You're talking about a what? You need a tree? Oh, that tree. This tree? This tree right here? Yeah, I can help you go there. <laughs> she's just, she's, she feels like a bundle of energy. Like, she's just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So we could do this and that and that. And what about this? Oh, we could also maybe what about this what do you think what do you think yeah yeah i think that's cool yeah let's do <laughs> she, honestly maybe a little maybe a little bit annoying i can't believe we're already at uh let's see okay yeah so she's got a lot of energy maybe we'll finish this turn in the next episode let's look at the babies real quick oh my goodness let's see she's not quite as strong oh she's almost as strong as her mother not quite, but where did the mask even come from? Does he have it in his, he doesn't have it in his, it's in her recessive. So we just got mask out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty though. Like she's so cute. She does have big body, which means heat resistance is not going to be good for her. He's got medium body, so he'll be more speedy. Ugh. She does have one of the infertile genes, so does he, so at least we kind of avoided it, but not totally. Oh good, he doesn't have short-sighted eyes in his recessives, or blood clotting is healthy, thankfully, we're, we're good there. I don't know what to name her, like we have Noodle, and then maybe she could be another cake. I'm kind of thinking, she's maybe thinking Marzipan, right? Let me make sure I spell that right, because I have the spelling in my head, but it, it feels like one of those words that lies to you, you know what I mean? And so you're like, oh, you think this is easy? Here's a trick. Okay, I actually pretty much had it right. I missed one letter. So, that is the wrong button. Here we go. Let's go ahead and name her. Look at that. So, in a day of tragedy, confusion, and blessings... I think that's where we're going to end this episode because it's already getting a little bit long. I hope you guys enjoyed it though. This was, there was a lot of unexpected. We had our first nationling pass away. We are on the back of a giant whale and the next island is unfortunately the jungle island. The jungle island is honestly one of my least favorite biomes in this game, but it's where we're going to have to go and figure it out. At least we can hopefully get like poison body or spiky body, you know, some vet, like poison fangs, something. Hopefully we can get something. I would really like if we could somehow bring the, um, the purse now out. She doesn't have the purse now, but like, uh, do you have the purse out in your recessives? Where is it? She does. So we have some purse out in the recessives. What about you? Nope. Darn it. Okay. 
What about you? I'm just doing a little quick check. Okay, she doesn't have it. Of course, he wouldn't have it. He does have it. So I would, I would love to see the person out come out. That would be great. Wait, what? A new gene unlocked? We can mutate big nose. Ah, that's so cool. All right, let me actually end the episode. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I want to thank you all for watching, but I gotta be bopping out of here, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!